welcome to this week's video. So today is something very, very different if you can tell by the title. I probably haven't done a video on this subject probably since when I first started YouTube, which is a long, long time ago. I think, oh my god, I think that would be like three years ago now nearly in August. That is absolutely insane. I've been doing YouTube as a hobby for three years. Oh my god. Anyway, today's video is about all the books I bought recently. If you don't know, reading is a passion of mine, like a really huge passion. I'm such a bookworm and there was even a time where I used to read like two, three books on the go because I love reading so much and I'm actually reading two books at the same time right now, which is The Miz and A Visit from the Goon Squad. If you haven't read those two, definitely, definitely recommend them. This month, before payday, decided to treat myself to some books with Christmas money and my own money and I got a huge pile here that I want to share with you guys. It's a right mix of different books and I've also got a couple of homeware bits that I want to share with you as well. So if you guys want to know what sort of books I bought for myself for my reading challenge because I set myself a goal of reading 30 books in 2018 then carry on watching. So the first book I'd have to start with is Wicked. This one I bought purely because I'm seeing musical for my 21st birthday this year in West End and I am so excited. I have no idea what the storyline is actually gonna be about. I couldn't think of the word for a second and I've not listened to any of the songs but I thought I'd treat myself to the novel that inspired hate musical and sold too many copies worldwide. I love The Wizard of Oz as well. It was like one of my favourite musical films as a child alongside the sound music and Chitty Chitty and Mary Poppins. And I'm going to read the blurb. It says, When Dorothy triumphed over the Wicked Witch of the West in the classic novel The Wonderful Wizard of Oz, which I have read as well. And uh, we had only one side of the story, but what of her arch nemesis, the mysterious witch? Long before Dorothy drops in, a girl is born in Oz with emerald green skin, a fat elf father, who will grow up to become the infamous witch, is a smart, prickly, and misunderstood, misunderstood creature who challenges all, oh, all our preconceived ideas about the nature of good and evil. Take readers past the Ebrick Road into a phantasmagoric world. Gregory Maguire's novel is rich and triumphant the of the imagination and allegory. There's been a few words I couldn't pronounce there, but all in all, it sounds amazing. And as soon as I saw it in Waterstones, I was like, I need this in my life. And I picked it up and I'm actually gonna read it after I've seen the musical. So I'm gonna hold on till May which is when my birthday is because I don't want it to like ruin the whole experience of seeing Wicked for the first time but yeah, got that. I will also leave links to the books from all the Waterstones website in the description below if you guys want to go and order them for yourselves and you like reading as much as I do. The next book I picked up. So all these books have been on my to read list of my Goodreads app for absolutely months apart from one which I saw and I was like I need to get that immediately <laughs> because Goodreads is an amazing app I'm not sponsored like anyone would sponsor me anyway because I'm so small <laughs> but Goodreads is an amazing app for keeping track of books you read and want to read and this is how I've been buying my books throughout last year the year before and will do it this year so this one was on my to read list on the app and it's not working by these Owens. It sounded really light-hearted. Like I love a good thick book, like a thousand pages maybe. That's like the ideal book. And books like this, which are like 260, 271. I don't mind those, but I will read them in like a week or so, maybe less. But I had to get this because the blurb sounded amazing. So it says, now and again, we all lie awake wondering what on earth we're doing with our lives, dot, 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 don't we? Claire Flannery has had more than a few sleepless nights already lately. 
Maybe she shouldn't have walked out of her job with no idea what to do next. Maybe she should think before she speaks. And maybe then her mother will start returning her calls. Maybe she should be spending more time going to art galleries or reading up from current affairs and less time in her pyjamas, entering competitions on the internet. Then again, maybe the perfect solution to life's problems only arises when you stop looking for it. This just sold it to me. I've not even read any of these Owen's books before. Don't know if this is her first actually. I should really check before I talk about books and videos. But this just sounds amazing. The blurb just looks really inviting, especially coffee cup. I love coffee to be honest. And just the whole ideal of her being in pyjamas at home entry competitions. And I just read that book on the bed. <laughs> just sounds like really chill, like a Sunday. And I would want to be reading this on a Sunday. And yeah, I do think about my life sometimes. It sounds really deep. The next one was the impulse purchase. This is Margaret Atwood's Elias Grace. If you haven't seen my What I Got For Christmas video, then definitely watch it here. I mentioned another book of Margaret's in there. It was called The Blind Assassin. I've read that already. It was a really amazing book. I definitely recommend it. And I thought I'd try another book by her. This one is about the true story of one of the most enigmatic and notorious women of the 1840s. And that's it, that's all I know about it, I haven't read it, probably will see more information on the Waterstones website, so again, check the link, but it's one of those thick books that I love to read, like, 534 pages of goodness is right up my street, and I love the covers, it's just really, it's really classic, also really sleek, modern minimal, and it goes so well with my colour schemed bookshelf which I'll probably show at the end of this video if you guys want to see it I mean you can't answer because you're watching this but I will show you my colour themed bookshelf I've got like blues, oranges, yellows, reds, whites, greens, purples, pinks together and it's like a cool little rainbow but yeah can't wait to read this I will probably do a blog post of all the books I've read recently including these on my blog so definitely keep your eyes peeled for that. The next one is one that's been really hyped recently and it's Eleanor Oliphant is completely fine. So it's sort of along the lines of not working in terms of like light-hearted reads. And this one is about Eleanor Oliphant. I can't speak today. What is wrong with me? Take two. <laughs> Eleanor Oliphant leads a simple life. She wears the same clothes to work every day, eats the same meal deal for lunch every day. Basically me. Roasted vegetable vegan salad sandwich thing from MS with sweet potato crisps and a bottle of water or a smoothie. That's the best to be honest. <laughs> and buys the same two bottles of vodka to drink every weekend. Literally me except I drink a like a bottle of coke every weekend. <laughs> Anna, Eleanor Oliphant is happy. Nothing is missing from her carefully timetabled existence except sometimes everything. So this just sounded really really cool. I love the cover with the matches and everything and again it's a nice thick book to read. I mean it's not as thick as I'd like but it's a good chunk of a book and it was really popular recently. A lot of YouTubers have been talking about this. And I never heard of Girl Honeyman before. I think this is her first book. I don't know. But I'm like loving reading different authors' books. That's one where I don't have a lot of the same books from the same author. Apart from like um, Jennifer Egan and Ali Smith. Those are a few authors that I've had a lot of their books. And yeah, I just thought I'd give this a go. And the last one I got is actually something from the young adult section of Quarterstones. So I actually read some young adult fiction like John Green, obviously Harry Potter because that is like a classic. You don't need to be a kid to read that, let's be honest. What else? Who else have I got? Riggs, you know like the Miss Peregrine's Home for Killy Children, that's classic young adult. 
and I've got other ones like Donna Porter's Paper Aeroplanes and obviously Zoe Suggs books and all the Hunger Games books. So yeah, I've, but I've wanted to get back into Young Adult because Young Adult is basically adult fiction but for everyone. That's how I think of it and I saw a really good blog post that sums up Young Adult fiction as well and which I'll leave in the description as well. I think Emma Matthews wrote it but let me double check after when I edit this video. But anyway, this is called It Only Happens in Movies. I was tempted by this because it's a bright yellow cover and I feel like books nowadays either have a black cover, a white cover or a blue cover. Never see any yellow covers and it had popcorn on them. So I was immediately sold and it says bad boys turned good, kisses in the rain, climbing through bedroom windows, only happens in the movies. When Audrey meets Harry it's the start of a truly cinematic romance, or is it? Audrey knows that Harry is every movie cliche rolled into one, but she still chooses to let him into her heart. So this is one of those books I feel like is a light-hearted, romantic sort of comedy thing, but not like your average cheesy one. You know when like a small town girl works in a cafe or something, and then she thinks she's happy or whatever, and then some guy comes along and turns her world upside down, and it ends really cheesy and really happy. I love those. But this sounds like a one like one of those but with a real twist and I just was drawn to it basically. And I really can't wait to read this. I'll probably read this next after them is who knows? But again, I've never read any of Holly Bourne's books, so it'll be good to be introduced to her work. So that are all the books that I bought recently. Homeware bits I want to share with you guys because I feel like homeware is also a really important part of my bedroom as well as my books. I mean, I have a whole mini library in the corner, you could probably see it a bit, but next to it is my shelves. And I just bought a couple bits to like brighten it up for the year. I bought this little fake aloe vera plant from Primark, it's rose gold. Got a little bit of copper and rose gold. And I think it was only £5, which is a bargain, and it sits nicely with my candle and my fairy lights and I just absolutely love it and the other thing I got is this little cute cat it's from Oliver Bonus it was £10 and it's supposed to be ring holder but I feel like it's too cute to use it as just that so it's a nice little ornament for my shelf and it's so cute let's look at it look how freaking cute it is I actually got it because I saw it in Gabby's apartment tour and I needed it in my life and when I saw it when I was browsing a love bonus I was like I need to take you home okay <laughs> so that was a good impulse purchase I think so that is everything for this video I hope you guys enjoyed this video got inspiration for what books you want to read in 2018 and yeah give this video a thumbs up subscribe and click the notification bell below to get updates for next upload and I will see you guys next week for another video and cue the few second clip of my shelf. Okay guys, have an amazing week and I'll see you.